Hello everyone, Retro Robbie here with another break, and yes, you see it there, I want to torture myself, yes, you know, we got the repacks, wax, vintage baseball cards, we're back to it, again, they sent me another coupon, I got suckered back into doing this, I don't know why, you guys love watching this, I, I, I don't know if it's because you like to see me get tortured, or uh, cringe, or waiting for that nice hit to come about, um, but I decided to do another one of these, these are, these are sort of fun, I'm not sort of, they are fun, I mean, it's kind of neat, it's interesting, it's a great concept, um, you know, you're gonna get 15 cards, uh, from the 50s of the day. We're going to focus on the vintage cards, as you know. Retro Robbie loves retro cards, so we'll probably be focused on this. I don't want to break this up into parts because it, people stop watching them after, like, parts two, three, four. So I'll just have to go through quickly as I can through these. I'm not going to waste time. I'm going to open them. You've seen these before. You guys love watching them. They're, like, one of my biggest watched videos are these re, uh, repacks Wax cards. Uh, I wish they'd make more of the 70s. I would really love to do more of the 70s. I bought two of those boxes, and I actually really like them. I hope my set's out, and uh, I hope he does more of those, because I would definitely buy more of those. So, Repax Wax, you're watching. Make more of those 70s cards. So, let's not waste any more time. I'm going to put that in the corner there. Let's get through it, and as you know, they always protect them with the stickers. I actually like that, so that's kind of cool. There's his sticker. So here we go. Bang. We're going to go through this. Again, um, vintage ones like that one, the Charlie Liebrat from 1971 Tops, or 1981 Tops. Nah, we're going to keep aside. That one's in good condition, too, so we'll take that. Hey, there's a Cubs, 87 Fleer there. And oh, more of those uh, Hispanic cards. Oh, no. Uh, I'm not a big fan of those, that's for sure. Oh, there's that 82 Reggie Smith from Fleer. Yeah. Dickie Knowles. There's a 78 Clarence Gaston. 78 tops. A little off-center, but good conditioning. Uh, I love 84 Fleers. I don't know why I love 84 Fleers, but I do. There's a rookie of Chris Carpenter. 1976 tops the reds that one has some conditioning issues in the corner there's my buddy sparky anderson we will take that um that card feels a little weird oh hey, another 78 there so downy more of the cubs we will take that nice card there a little dink corners but what are you gonna do you know these aren't the best condition cards there's jack medalla just got his autograph and oh, you guys love this, so we're gonna find the hits. Let's get see if we can get a bunch of 50s, maybe some 60s. So far, the oldest I've seen was the 76. Here we go, another Cubs. We'll take that. Terry Adams, 97 Fleer. All right, oh, there's 83 Fleer, 85 Dunruss, and there's a seven or 1980. Uh, uh, Jim Sundberg of the Rangers. So we will take that. And Tim Hobbs. George Brett, 1990 tops there. So, oh, there's uh, Eloy G Yemez. So as you know, I picked, I just, last uh, last box, I got him in my heritage. Oh, nice 88 leaf of Jack Morris. Very nice. I'll take that. Uh, and our Cubs, Greg Maddox. Ooh, and the 1974 Hank Aaron commemorative card. So for 1974, they they had the number one card of Hank Aaron, the home run king, and then they did the uh, all years up to the 1974. So this one's doing, you know, 70 to 73. Very nice. You know, the, yeah, it's not the best corners in the world, but it's pretty centered, so we'll take that. And our 84 Fleer. 82 Dunnerus. And there we go. So, trying to go through this quickly. Uh, not going to ponder stuff that's from the junk wax era, that's for sure. Bam, there we go. There's 1991. Yeah, oh, my buddy Gordon Thomas. There we go. 1975 tops. 
Unfortunately, it's in bad condition. Really bad quarter there, a bad quarter there. Yeah, this is what you get with the Repax Wax, that's for sure. So, there's the 82 Fleer. But, you know, they're kind of neat to look at. So, there's an 81 of Renee Martin. Take that. Some team leaders. Cal Ripken, 1985 tops. Very nice. Dave Kingman. 86. Dave Bergman, my buddy there. 1983 Fleer. Kenny Rogers. Deck. Oh, Rhino. I gotta love Ryan Sandberg. Can never get enough Ryan Sandbergs. He goes in my PC collection. So, I believe that's 93 Pinnacle or 94? 93 Pinnacle. I was right. So, we will take that. There's a... Oop, car got stuck there. Oh, 83 uh, leaders there. It's got Terry. 85, Dunross, and another Nick Eckersley. I might have to get him autograph. I mean, seen him a lot lately. Like I said, I'm going to, so if I get a lot of players that we see, I'm going to try to get their autographs. That's kind of fun to do, too. Just started doing that. Haven't got anything back yet, so we'll find out. Oh, there we go. There's my Sweet Lou. Sweet Lou Whitaker. Love my Sweet Lou's on the 84 Fleer. I will take that. Oh, very nice. Good corners and everything. So, man, there's 1980. Craig Kuzik of the Blue Jays. We will take that. 87. 85. 86. Oh, yeah. I can't go without a box of a super veteran, as you know. You, my loyal followers, know I always get super veterans. This one is Don Sutton. So another super veterans to go with my massive collection of super veterans. Oh, my gosh. Very nice. Don Sutton. Ah, I got to get some of those signed, too. It'd be fun. Oh, there we go. Oh, Robin Ventura on the Mets. I did not know that. No, for the White Sox, but the Mets. Here we go, 1984 Detroit Tigers team card, and that is in really good shape. Back. Oh, there's a bent corner right there. Ah. Oh, well, I do have this card, so that'll probably go to some lucky recipient. That's for sure. Getting close to 200, so... Again, you know, you like my channel, give, you know, give us some love. Get, subscribe to it. I'm going to do some fun stuff here soon. So, and you got to be a subscriber if you want to get in on my contest. So, I'm going to be doing another one here with someone else. So, look out for that. Um, oh, Jerry Morales of 83 Fleer. So, look out for that. I'm going to explain the rules. I have my vendor set up with it. And, uh... We're, I'm look. I'm looking forward to it, and I think you guys will too. Giving away some cards is always fun. There we go, 1983 Nolan Ryan. Very nice. You can never go wrong with a Nolan, as I always say. Put that there. That's a good hit. There's 82. Yeah. I got a, a 74 traded. So as you know, in 1974 and 1976. They added traded cards uh, towards the end of their season. So this is the one Anguario Monterigo uh, traded to the Phillies. There we go. Monty goes to the Phillies. Very nice. And 82. Get my 84 Fleers. Love my 84 Fleers. Very nice. And 1978, Jim and Mason. So I'll take a peek at that one. That one looks like it is in good condition. So, yeah, the corners are sharp, very centered. We will take that one of Jim Mason. Oh, Lloyd's Mulberry of the Tigers. And another 83 Fleer. And Tom Glavin ends it off with that back. All right. Like I said, I'm trying to rush through this as much as I can. Like I said, they give you a bunch of them, that's for sure. And I got that backwards, so... Here we go, an upside down too. So we started off with uh, Eddie Zamboto of the Cubs. So very nice. Ted Williams, Hall of Famer from the Cardinals, 1980. That's a nice car too. Good conditioning. Oh, and 1979, Juan Benicas of the Rangers. So very nice. Card is a good shape. Oh, there's our first 50s right there. We got a 50s hit. 
There we go. Ray Herbert of the Kansas City Athletics. So that would be a 59. There's the back, 154. It is a low series, but we will take that. That's actually in decent shape. Corners are eh, but for a 59, that's in pretty good shape, actually. So we will take that. Ray Herbert of the Kansas City Athletics. As you know, before they moved to Oakland, and there's another Cubs. Oh, good man, a lot of Cubs here. Randy Mertz. Oh, 86. There's another 84 Fleer of Rod Hodges. Very nice. I like that card. Man, 88. And coming up right there, 75s. Oh, I'm going to get hit with these bad 75s again. But as you know, 75s, they were very condition sensitive. This one is uh, Dodgers Ken McMullen, uh, you know, bent corners. Um, that's too bad. But, man, 75s are tough. I got a hold of some 75 Santa packs I'll be opening up here soon. So look out for that. I love those Santa packs as well. They're, they're great for uh, building your 70s set. That is for sure. So and, and these are too if you get them in good condition. Why is that my buddy? That's my best bud, Mike Kingery. Very nice. That is going to my PC collection. I am very, very close to Mike Kingery. We've been good friends since the 90s. So lots of stories with him. I have lots of memorabilia of Mike Kingery. I got game used bat, game used uh, jersey. He is my bud. Um, always collect that. And, you know, maybe I'll get, if I get a bunch of him, I'll get him to sign some stuff for me, as always. The nicest guy you will ever meet right there, Mike Kingery. And that, by far, was his best year, too, was, I believe, it was 93. Um, and he ended up, like, in third in batting average that year. Um, very good. That's going to my PC collection. That's a very nice card of him. We'll get that sign. Oh, there's my buddy Pete Vukovic. Yes, I love my Pete Vukovic. <laughs> he, he loves me too. I got a whole bunch of his cards. I'm hoping he'll sign it. They say he's a tough signer. I hope he does. I, I, I gave him some. Um, maybe I'll do it again if uh, he returns them back. But there's my buddy Pete Vukovic. And a 1980 with the Cardinals. I love it. Oh, there's Mike Schmidt. Oh, yeah. We're, here. We're hitting uh, on my buddies list here. That's for sure. Mike Schmidt, 1984 tops. We will take it. Like I said, I heard he's a hard signer too. So 1979, John Diacristo of the Padres. I know I'm killing that. Uh, that corner's a little rough there, but we'll take it. I'm going to call you the Tigers. 1975. Uh, tops there of uh, Bill Robinson of the Phillies. And unfortunately, that is ding, ding, ding. So, that uh, great. Ron Davis, 84 Fleer. All right. Jeff Kent there of the Expos. It's sticking there. Got something behind there, but it's sticking. These glossy cards here. And, oops, I keep BJ Surhoff there. I get him signed. I got a whole bunch of BJ. I've been getting a lot of BJ cards. I'll have to get him signed. Scott Fletcher, 82. All right. Said, trying to make this as fast as I can. But hey, we get Pete Vukovic's and Mike Carey cards. I got to stop for a minute. And you guys love looking at the vintage ones. So there's Wade Boggs. I heard he's a good signer. I might have to get some of his stuff signed. Frank White, 1976. That's a good card. Frank White was a decent player in the 70s for the Royals. He was a good player. Bad corner up there in the upper corner. Too bad. Uh, Jeff Bagwell. 1981, Pat Putnam of the Rangers. So we'll take that. It's in good condition. And 85, 83 Fleer, 88. And Matt Young, Upper Deck, and All-Star, Hartley, 82, Top, Salvador Martinez, very nice, Brian, Brian Harper of the Twins, again, trying to get through this as fast as I can for you, 
you don't want to watch for hours, and half of these are junk anyways, but we love telling the stories of these. Love some of these players. There's Don Hood, 1975. Again, <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the bad 71s or the bad 75s. That's not in great condition, but, you know, for a set, set starter, hey, you got to go with it. No. 1980, Buddy Schultz of oh, the Cardinals. That one's a good shape. We'll take that one. Jackie Robinson. Uh, actually, yesterday was Jackie Robinson Day as of this taping. So we get a Jackie Robinson from Upper Deck. We'll take that. Very. Yeah. Go. 83 Bucky Dent. Like I said, man, why is somebody sticking? Matt Noakes. Oh, I like the one I did with the Tigers. Oh, oh there we go. Night, I knew it's a 58. And that's a Tigers, too. Wow, very nice. Johnny Groth of the Tigers. And I believe that is a 58. Oh, it's marked up on the back. Ah, what are you going to do? You can't do much. That's the way they were back then. That's too bad because that is that card's in decent shape. So just like my Phil Necro was checked. Who checks these cards? There was checklist. Why? You, you, you can tell us another check card. Oh, you kids in the 50s. What am I going to do with you? Yeah, I know you're all old and in retirement homes, and I'm getting there too. Trust me. But Johnny Groth. All the Tigers, I love it. Wow, another 50s hit. So that's our second one. So we will take that. Another 88 Leaf. I'm getting some Leaf cards here. Oh. Wow, so that's our second one. Johnny Garth, I didn't see it. Was that, what number was that? It was checked off there, 262. So decent series. It might still be in the first. Might Kind of on the board of first and second series. So, 1978, Jeff Burrows. And that one is in good shape, actually. So, yep, that's a keeper. That's for sure. Now, oh, come on. I hate when they stick. I'm trying to slide them. There's John Cruck. I wonder if John Cruck signs. I don't need to see. I've been getting a lot of him lately, too. Uh, 1981, Nino Esperasso. Oh, the Phillies. And keep going here. There's an 84, 86, 83. There's Upper Deck 1990. Man, I'm getting a bunch of pinnacle cards too in here. Bob Welsh. Oh, here we go. Jose Canseco. I know they produce a lot of those, but I love Jose. He's, you know, I get it. He had a bad rap. This card still go for decent. Oh, this card's another leaf. 1988 leaf. Getting a lot of 88 leafs. That one's Kevin Elster. Well, there we go. Oh, and boom. Oh, man, what the heck's going on here? Oh, that's there's not even a sticker. That's a card filler. <laughs> we'll take a card filler. Why not? Let's well, start out with a 91 Brooks Jacoby. Eh, another 75. Getting a lot of 75s in this box, that's for sure. This one's in decent shape. One little ding corner. This one's in the Angels Rudy Mioli. Mioli. I don't know him very well. Let's take a take big that. That's, it might no, he, no, probably 74 would be a rookie card. Uh, we'll take it. Very nice. And 82 Fleer there. Another Jack McDowell. <laughs> I definitely got to get some Jack McDowell sign. I know he's a tough one, too. Oh, no, Dave Kingman. Let me see if Dave Kingman uh, signs. Love that card. 1981 Cubs card. So love it. Oh, uh, Hey, Fernando Venezuela. Uh, is that, that's the 85s. Uh, new bar. And I get some Oreos here. Will Clark. Another Will Clark. Trying to get him signed. Uh, I'll see if we, he signs my cards. Um, yeah, another one of the leaders. Getting a lot of these leaders, too. Nolan Ryan, Steve Carlton. And that might be my second one, if I recall. Tippy Martinez. And uh, Dava, 88. Dunross. The most overproduced set in the world. <laughs> 88 Dunross. Of course, a lot of these were overproduced a lot in the late 80s. Uh, oh, I love my 84 Dunrusses, though. That one's Dennis Lapp. You know, uh, that's why if you are if you like 80 sets, that's the one to go after, 84s. They just made them so nice. 
and they're harder to get. For some reason, they did not make as many um, 84s. Tom Glavin with the Mets. Nice. Jerry Ramey of the Red Sox, 1980. That's in good condition. A little printing air there, so what are you going to do? And another 75. This one of the Indians, Rico Cardi. So again, uh, those 85 or 75s. Ah, look at the ding corners. Ugh. And Mike Ivy there, the Tigers. And Tom Brookins with the Yankees. And I guess I'm not going to name all of them. I will mention Gary Matthews there. As he's the last card. 86 tops. And the stack is stacking up pretty big. And I have to do an off stack here. Oh, Doyle Alexander. All that bad trade the Tigers did. Bobby Bonilla. And there we go. 1980. Jim Beatty. All the Yankees. In good condition. Oh. I don't know if that's an insert. Nope, just regular card. Tom Seaver, 83. Sandy Elamar, 89. I haven't seen many 89s in here. But I see a lot of 88 leaves, that's for sure. Uh, Pat Kelly. Uh, Greg Olson. And there's a 78. 78. Jerry DeMary. I'm probably killing that. DeMary of the Pittsburgh Pirates. All centered, but the corners are pretty decent. We'll take that. Very night. Nice. Yeah, Mookie Wilson ends it off. Well, let's see here. Let's go and take some of these out. Put them aside. <clears throat> well, well, you know, you people are, have the same love-hate relationship with these two, you know. Um, oh, 94, done rest again. They're either great or they're just <laughs> lousy. <laughs> let me know what you think. You love me opening these or not? Uh, let me know because I love opening them. They're kind of fun. Um, you don't get cards like that. Another 1958. So Don Demeter of the Dodgers. So that's a very nice. Oh, okay. This came from the same set checker. <laughs> oh, why would you check it like that? What's up with these set checkers? <laughs> I had checklists. Uh, too bad. Uh, 244. I'll take it. It's in good condition, too. I mean, that's not bad, but... Oh, you kids. Uh, checked your cards like that. Man, drive me nuts. Dick Draco, 1980. Gonna make Retro Robbie insane for checking the back of your cards. Uh, up next, 1976, uh, Dodgers, Ed Goodson. And that one's in the uh, corner's bad, unfortunately. Oh, well, kind of different than the last couple I've got. That one half box was just horrible. I don't think I got anything lower than like a 74 or something like that. At least these have some 50s in it. Uh, one of the interesting thing, I have not seen any cards from the 60s. Um, bunch from the mid 70s, and I got a couple from the late 50s, but nothing from the 60s so far, which is interesting. It's things that make you go, hmm, makes you think about it. And we got a 81 win. Remmer Solal. What the heck? I don't remember him at all. Played off and on for the Red Sox. That's the second year he played for him. Don't know much about him. Oops. I got put in the gotta put the hits over there. Oh, let's see here. I got another Mark Clear card. And Billy Williams. This is uh these glossy cards they put in the mid 80s. That's a very nice picture of Billy Williams. I like that card. Very nice. Oop. And then something's behind there. And this one is a Circle K card from 1985. So that's one of those wacky ones. Done by Tops. There's the back of it. Um, 61 NL Rookie of the Year. Had so many good years with the Cubs. 1985 right there. Um, that is neat. That's kind of, I'm going to set that aside. I like that card a lot. I think Viola the Mets. Oh. 
Mike I might Hanneman. see Mike Hanneman. I got a bunch of Mike Hanneman cards. I'm going to get him signed, too. David Reddy, Ron Hodges. <laughs> this is becoming the Ron, Ron Hodges. I'm getting a lot of Ron Hodges, too. Uh, let's see if he signs, too. Oh, uh, got I think that's the second or third one of him. Up next, 78, Jack Brawhammer of the Red Sox. Kind of going to the Red Sox run here. Uh, decent card. Uh, slight ding there, but overall, decent card. We'll take that. Oh, there's an 86 Fleer. And Yogi Berra and Oh, nope, there's another card behind that, but that's a reprint card there, archives reprint. And Lonnie Smith ends it off with the Pirates. Oh. Again, so many cards. I'm trying, trying so much to go through here faster for you guys. 1980, Ron uh, Brumgarter, all the White Sox, but you know, they're kind of fun to talk about. It's kind of fun to do. Um, you know, everyone has their favorite players, and man, and every then once in a while they stick when they get glossy. Oh, another one of those Hispanic cards, uh, Dave Fleming, you know, yeah, 1979, right there, all star card, Lefty Grove, very nice. I know that's 79, yep, 350, number 79, and that one's in good condition. We will take that one, Chris Meyer of the Cubs. Man, oh, you gotta love those uh, 92 Bowmans <laughs> and their uh, stylish uh, clothing. Uh, I love it. All right, hey, there's North 75, John Lostein of the Indians, and that one is actually in good shape. We will take that one. Uh, very nice, 424, and that was not banged up at all. So, very nice. We'll take that one. Oh, <laughs> yes, it's my buddy P. Come on, Pete. If you're watching, I know you're not, but Pete, man, you got to sign my cards, man. You, you got to be my favorite player now. I get you so much. I love it. Uh, I think my my viewers love it too. So Pete Vukovic in that back. That's my second Pete Vukovic. I'm going to uh, – come on, Pete. You got to sign for me, please. I'm begging you, dude. <laughs> begging you, sign my cards. I'm not going to sell them, I promise. I'm going to give them away to my channel members. I mean, I'll keep sculpting myself, of course, but... Uh, oops, that one's stuck. Uh, but these are fun. Come on. I mean, yeah, you get the 92s, but hey, you get some sweet 83s. Uh, there's 86. Juan Gonzalez. Oh. Dickie Knowles. I think he's back in there. Might have to get Dickie signed. Never go wrong with Dickie Knowles. Uh, Kurt Wilkerson, that guy is a hoot. Met him. Great guy. No, Pat Putnam. All right, Pat, I got to get you signed too now from the Rangers. Pat Putnam, 1980 tops. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm seeing some repeats. Oh, there's a check list that's checked. Ah, uh, boo. At least you did it on this card and not the. Back on the 58s. Oh, it's too bad. 1980 check checklist. Uh, oh, hate that when it happens. But hey, you know, if you were a kid in 19, oh, the 74. Sorry, that's the 74 tops. You did that. That's what you did. You didn't know any better. You just had fun. You just wanted your favorite players. You didn't care. No one cared about centering and PSA 9s and 10s. I just cared about the fun, and that's what we do here. It's all about the fun. I know these aren't perfect. You want perfect, but you're not going to get them. But they're good, especially if you're making sets. 1980, Raleigh Eastwick of the Phillies. Like that. Oh, Jacob Cruz. Let's see. Oh, that's a that's a Frank Viola rookie card there. Yes, it is. I kind of thought so. I think that has a little value to it. Oh, the corner's ding, though. Ah, oh, darn it. Yeah. Uh, Tony Gwynn, Hispanic card. And uh, Matt Noakes, he's back. He's now becoming quite prevalent. Might have to get some of his stuff signed. I've got to get him when he was with the Tiger sign. Jose Lynn, I've been getting a lot of him. Unfortunately, he's in uh, Dominican Republic, so I don't know if I can get him to sign something for me. I've been getting a lot of him. We'll see what I can do. Let me get a challenge. I like challenges. Bob McClure, 1978. 
Man, that one's average. There's a ding corner. Um, there's 74 Fleer. Love the 74 Fleers. So, here we go. I think we're about halfway through. I'm trying to go through this fast for you. I know you don't want to stare at them all day long. 1976 Randy Hundley. And that one's in decent shape for a 76. I like that. Very nice. 1976 Randy Hundley of the Padres. So, hey, we're going to get our first 60s card. It is Chris Zachary of the Houston Colts. Remember, they were called the Colt 45s in the first year or two, and they changed their name. Um you know, kind of a bad name. Not a bad name, but, you know, I can't say the, the swear word, but, you know, that's a kicking name, the Colt 45s, man. Guns and all that, you know, Texas. Um, hey, I like the Houston Colts 45s. Look at that. That's awesome. You don't see that very often. So very nice. It's dinged. It's used and abused, but we will take it. Number 23, low series. That's our first 60s card. So we'll take it. Buddy Bell, 1981. Great player for the Rangers. Oh, great cards here. Yeah, some of them are overproduced. You're getting a lot from the 80s. But hey, I love the 80s cards. Well, there we go. Team leaders, Miguel Caprera and Dantella Willis. Oh, there's an 82 Fleer. And ended off with the Lee Stevens from Upper Deck 1992, it looks like. All right. Any cards you like? You like um, all my Pete Bukovic's and Matt Noakes? You guys want the stars, don't you? But, hey, you know, most players need love, too. The Mike Canaries of the world, they need love. They were great players back in the days. So, you know, you got to take it. 1978, Bob Stinson of the Seattle Mariners. Pretty decent card. A little off-center. Slightly dinged corner, but we will take that. Oh, I got another 50s card. Another 59. Don Besant of the Dodgers. Very nice. Let's hope it's not checked in the back. And it's not... Number 71, low numbers in the series, and it's in decent shape. That corner's a little rougher, but overall, very nice card. We will take that. Like I said, you don't get many cards from the 50s, so we will take that. Mini Trio, 1981. Oh, going through here. Oh, there's, there's Cousin Rick. <laughs> I get all my stories today. I'm trying to go through this fast, and I get my... Players that I really love and, and love to collect. Um, I mentioned it before, but that is my cousin, Rick Miller. He was a utility outfielder for the Red Sox, played a couple years with the Angels, had a great career, great pinch hitter too, great outfielder. Uh, he is my second cousin, so I have a huge Rick Miller collection, so probably more than anyone else has, but... I love Rick Miller. Uh, again, I'm getting my best friend, and I'm getting my cousin. Cousin Rick, you're going in the PC collection, as always. That is his last year card, too. So uh, his rookie card is 1972, and that is his last year card. So maybe I'll pull out my Rick Miller card. I have that in a PSA 9. So Louis Salazar ends it off there. Uh, sometimes you just got to take a do break. You know, doing all this talking. Yeah. You know, I'm liking this box. Um, the you know the first box was eh. Second box was horrible. This box I'm getting a lot more fifties, so I'm liking that. There's a filler card. We'll take that. And 1981 Doug Raul of the Dodgers. And here we go. And there they're not seem to be there are a lot of eighties cards, which is fine. But, you know, if they're in the mid-80s, I'm okay with that. Uh, reminiscent, you know, some of these players, like Barry Bonds there, or the Cubs, Steve Dillard, or the 82 tops there. Juan Gonzalez, we get a lot of him. Might have to get him signed. Bobby Yeah, there's another 1974 tops traded card of George Mitterwald. Traded to the Cubs. There we go. Minerwar dealt to the Bruins. Why do they call the Cubs the Bruins? They're not the Bruins. That's uh, Boston. Because <laughs> those are the Cubbies, not the Bruins. <laughs> All right. Hey, another 19. Hey, we're going to get 71. Very nice. 71. 
one of the Braves, Marv Stolle. Stolle? Stolle? Uh, yeah. Airbrush cap. Uh, you know, 71s are tough. I mean, this one's, yeah, the corners are a little, eh. But you know what? It's better than those other 71s I got in my first box. Go to my first box. Um, you'll see I have the most horrible 71s. <laughs> and this was a high number card, 663. So we will take that. So um, I don't know. It looks like probably the White Sox he originally was on. So we'll take that. Tom Seaver with the White Sox as well. Man. Oh, I don't know what I'm talking. I'm babbling. I don't want to hear me babble. You want to hear? You want to see the cards? And trying to do it as best as I can. Oh, you don't want Bobby Bonilla. Hey, there we go. Another Cubs player, Bill Caudill of the Cubs, 1980. At least I'm getting a lot of Cubs and Tigers. I'm getting my buds, getting my relatives. Andrew Jones, and our Frank Robinson manager card. So I do like that. You know, it's about the fun. Another Sandy Alomar. Ah, yeah. Ah, same card. Another Sandy Alomar. Sean Dunstan. Oh, these are fun. I mean, you know, I'm going to get some of these signed for you guys. I mean, that's half the fun. Great gross of the Cubs. 1978. Get a lot of Cubs. I'm loving it. Cubs and Tigers. They're my teams. End up with a Jim Baby. No. Oh. They're just great. Am I getting huge stars? Yeah, not really. I mean, there's been a couple in there. No major hits, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, Franco. There's a 1976 Matt Alexander of the Athletics. And I got some printing damage up there. That's too bad because that's in decent shape, too. Oh, put that aside here. Just putting cards every which way. Oh, uh, what the heck is that? Albert Bujos, 40 men. Oh, the Cardinals. Upper deck. Oh. Looks like Juan Baniquez. Getting a lot of Juan Baniquez lately, too. Might get see if his signs are still alive. Uh, Juan Baniquez, 1980. Oh, the New York Yankees. Whoops. And dropping cards again. That was an 85. And. going here and i'm trying but they just gary carter there gary carter with the giants that's way late in his career right there so very nice gary carter and right, two one guzman i got in a couple of him too so trying to finish this up i think I've got like maybe 12 left Here we go. And 1975, Mark Scarzi of the Phillies. And unfortunately, that one's not in good condition. <laughs> oh, it's kind of dinged up. But hey, you know, fill your set up and then you improve from there. That's for sure. Oh, Jeff Reardon of the Mets. 1981. That's a nice card. Getting a lot of these team leaders. Ozzie Smith, 85 tops. Uh, 86, yep, 86. Turn back clock, Seaver there. Man. Oop. Man, there's flying everywhere. That's Don Manley, too. We don't want to do that, Don. That's a good card right there. Dan Petrie. Another uh, 84 active leaders. Getting a lot of those, too. Man. All right. I know this is going to be a long video, guys. I apologize. I don't want to break this up. But I'm having fun, too, so that's always good. Oh, Nate Robinson. I remember Nate Robinson from the Tigers. He's a decent pitcher. Uh, Romo of the Pirates, 1981. Oh, George Bell of the Cubs. I'm getting a lot of Cubs. Oh. Chuck Knobloch. There's a name from the past. Al Zinter. Oh, that's an interesting card. That's one of those insert cards. Scott McGregor. Swell. I think those are chips, if I recall. So there's the back. Scott McGregor. We'll stop at the funny cards. So 1989. It's swell. Tim Raines. Rock Raines. Oh. 
There we go. Oh, we got one of those 74 team cards. These are actually a little hard to find, actually. So if you got them, keep them. They're really tough to find and, and, and good shape, too. So they actually carry a little premium. So this one is the 74 uh, Twins. I kind of like this. Kind of unique. Um, has a lot of autographs of the bigger players for the Twins. You see Burt by 11. There's Tony Oliva. So... Um, and those are kind of cool. I like these. Like I said, they're hard to find in good condition, as you can tell, because the red borders, um, you know, you can see that's ding corner, but they're still good to get, and they're actually hard to find. So we will take it. And hey, we got 72. Very nice. We get our first 72. I love 72s, as you know. One of my favorite sets of all time. Trying to collect the master set. Very close. This one's Gil Hodges. This is manager card. So very nice. We will take it. A little corner. You know, for me, I'm fussy on my 72s. But overall, it's not bad. 465. That's a middle series. Uh, we will take that. And then with a Norm Charlton of the Mariners. Oh. Uh, Keep going here, having fun. I'm reminiscing about some players here. I love that. Walt Weiss. Uh, Leo Lopez, too, 84. Oh, <laughs> did I see that again? That's my buddy Mike Schmidt. Another 81 Dunross. I am going to corner the market in 1981 Dunross Mike Schmitz. Look at that. Isn't that a beautiful thing? I've been going on a 1981 Dunross Mike Schmidt run, as you know. Oh, that's so funny. We will take that. Mike Schmidt, one of the better players. You can't go wrong with a Mike Schmidt. So, 1980, Craig Chamberlain. And I can keep going here. And 1976, Ken Brett. That one's a little worn and abused, but we'll take it. There we go. Gonna end it up. Oops, I'm flying cards all over the place. Nope, I just thought it was that, but it was the Kirby Pocket. Very nice. Kirby Pocket. That's his second year card, as you know. Uh, technically, the 84 extended ones are, but this is 86 tops of Kirby Pocket. Great card. Rest in peace, buddy. Great player. He died way too soon. Of course, some of these. Players have died way too soon, that's for sure. Great players, great names. Ah, it takes me back. Love, like I said, even though some of these 80s, they mass produce like the 88, they're still fun to look at. Well, no, jeez, and I'm dropping them. Man, guys will make fun of me for that, so ah, try not to. Clumsy hands. We'll call it that. Hey, there's an 87 Tony Gwynn. Tony Gwynn's been following me around. Rest in peace, buddy. Ryan Guidry, man, there's something stuck there, so that's a thick card of Bobby Jones of the, the Mets. Man, come on, stuck. That's a thick card, holy cow. Juan Guzman, again, he's following me. I'm going to get some Juan Guzman love. I might have to get him signed. Juan Guzman, getting the love. You need it, buddy. Ah, 1990s, decades best, Tony Gwynn. I've seen these before. DB, I think these are just the in the regular top series. 2020, kind of cool cards. 1978, Leroy Stanton of the Mariners. That card is in average condition. And, man, why are they sticking? Man, they just want to stick sometimes. Corners are kind of, eh. John Crook, get my crook. Oh, the Padres. Oh, very nice. Jim Kern, 82. And uh, finish it up there with a Mike Muller of Oakland. All right. Getting close. Almost to the end here. Like I said, I don't want to break this up in parts. You guys love watching them, but you don't like watching them in parts. So Alex Trevino of the Mets, 1981. as fast as we can for you guys but still loving some of these Tug McGraw, what kind of card is that? Baseball Legends uh, 
1988 Pacific. So, Pacific card there. One of those oddball ones. So very nice. So, another 1974 traded card. This one of Mike Marshall. Traded to the Dodgers. Oh, 74 traded. Oh, this one's in decent shape. We'll take that. Oh, whoops. I'm not trying to get that all situated here. Royals leaders from 86. So, Atreus Galarraga. Very nice. The Rockies. His bat's busted there. Ha! Very interesting. Busted bat there. Kind of cool pitcher. That's Pinnacle. Oh. What cards do you guys like? Do you like the 50s, the 70s, some of these 90s? Which ones do you guys like? Uh, this is nice. You get to look at all of them. There's Cal Ripken. 1978, Terry Harmon of the Phillies. And that one's in good condition. We'll take that one. Very nice. Uh, let me get to see the 82 Dunrosses. Man, come on. And they're sticky, though. No. Man. It just doesn't want to. That's the problem when you get that. When you get like an 82. Ah, man. When you get like the 82 Dunruss, and then you get like a more glossier card like this uh, 90 upper deck. They kind of stick. Dickie Knowles, he's back. 1981, Dickie Knowles. Yeah, we're going to get him signed. This might be like your third card. So. <clears throat> Going here, trying to get as fast as we can, but you know, guys like looking at all the cards. And you say, Hey, that's one of my favorite players, like Terry Pendleton. You can say, Hey, that's my favorite player, George Brett 88. <sighs> Made a lot of those, so ah, see, like I said, they get stuck. Joey Mayer ends up that pack. Uh, getting close, I think we're down to the final six, so finishing up here. Like I said, I didn't get an autograph like I did last time, but I get like a little bit more of the 50s, that's for sure. Oh, that's kind of nice. Um, John Milner, 1980, of the Pirates, in decent shape there. Oh, look at that. Oops, I'm missing something here. Ah, there we go. They're just sticky. And I want to show them all. Ellen Bannister. Hey, Mickey Vernon of. The Washington Senators manager card. I believe this is 60. And it's 61. That was off one year. 61. There it is. And very nice. We will take that. And it is in good condition, too. Again, another semi rough corner, but you know, for 61, that's pretty good. So very nice. Whoops. Damn. Well, they stick too. Ooh, Tom Glavin too. And 1975, Steve Klein of the Indians. And that unfortunately is in bad, bad shape. Crease. Horrible quarters. Ugh, too bad. Alan Trammell, 1982. Love my Alan Trammells. Set that aside. That's a PC hit right there for me. And end up with a Rick Honeycutt. All right, finishing it up here for you guys. Almost done. The journey is almost over. You say, oh, I can't stand these. Or you love them, or how do you feel about them? Look at our Cubs there. You know, Ozzie Smith, 1983 Fleer. That's a nice one right there. That's in good condition. Like Ozzie Smith. They, they hold their value. It's a good player. And we're going to get a checklist. 1980 checklist there. And it's in good condition. And it's not checked. That's a double bonus that it's in good condition. And it's not checked. 241. We will take that. Oh. Oh, there's another nice hit. 1987. Rafael Primero. 87 Dunras. So, other Cubs. And yes, the Cubs, you traded them off. Ah, George Brett, 88. Getting a lot of 88 Leafs. That is for sure. Ah, another Billy Spires. Might have to get him signed. Jim Bibby, 1974. Of the Rangers. A little bent corner there, but yeah, that's average. Eric Davis, Todd Worrell, 84. Dunross, love those. And ended up with Al Collins of the Tigers. Five left. All right. All right. 
Oh, the 891 Fleers. I remember those. Yeah, hated those. <laughs> uh, 1981, though. Tommy Boggs of the Braves. Nice card there. Sean Dunstan of the Cubs. 87. Love 87 Fleers. Uh, Bob Welsh. 82. 88 checklist. Ron Jackson. 1978. That one is in rough shape. Corners are bent. Uh, another checklist. Hey, 1961 tops there. All the Cubs. Dick Ells Ellsworth. Very nice. We will take that. It's off center, but guess what? It is in good shape. Look at the corners. Corners are nice and sharp. Wow, if it wasn't off center, man, that would be a graded one right there. Very nice. I will take that one. Wow, it's kind of a higher number card, too. That's his rookie card. Dick Ellsworth of the Cubs. I love that. That's going to my personal collection, that's for sure. Not going to get that one off of me. So, Dick Ellsworth, I will take that all day long. Like I said, it's not a perfect condition, but we will take that. I like that. Like I said, I'm not getting major hits, but I'm getting good hits. Back-to-back yeah, -back 78s here. Doug Raider, off-centered, but... Corners are good. And Rorick Harrison. That corner is bad on that one. That's bent pretty bad over there. And end up with a Dante Bichette. The last four. Let's open them. Let's go through these here. Get rid of the box. You don't want the box. You like the cards, not the box. And I'm going to do this because I'm getting a tall stack of cards, as you know. So... Let's finish these final four packs. Let's hope for something good. Um, you know, kind of reminisce about the 87 Dunrosses. What do you like? You know, hey, there's a there's a one of the oddball ones. Barry Bonds, Jimmy Dean. They even put cards and sausages. <laughs> 1992, Jimmy Dean of the Pittsburgh. Pirates. So there's the back. Two of 18. Another oddball one. You gotta love those oddball ones. How often do you see one of those? They may have produced a lot. I don't remember them, but man, that's nice. Uh, Danny Darwin. Yeah, we got one of those summit cards. And yeah, oh, I love my 84 Fleers. Yeah. Uh, so 1980, Randy. Neiman of the Astros. That's a nice card. That's in good shape, too. Oh, there's my buddy. There's my buddy, Mike Kingery, my best friend. Mike Kingery, great guy. 89 tops there. Great card. Oh, he always had. Oh, that's a nice shape, too. I like that. We'll have to get that signed for us. Like I said, uh, you know, he started out with the Royals. And then he lost his job to, I don't know, a guy named Bo Jackson. <laughs> and then he got traded to the Mariners, played a couple good years there. And then, then he got replaced by, yeah, Ken Griffey Jr., another great player. And then uh, bounced around. I think he played, for, he played for the Athletics, the Giants. And then he went to the Royals. Or not Royals, Rockies. Sorry, Rockies. Um, then had two really good years of the Rockies and then ended up with the Pirates. So Mike Kingery, 1989 tops. We will take that. My buddy, Mike, I will get that signed for sure for you guys. I love Mike. He's a great guy. Nicest guy you'll ever meet. Very friendly. Love him. 19, next, 1978, Tony Scott. And that one's in decent shape. Oh. Let's see how he's doing. I haven't talked to him in years and years. Man, it's been a while. Oh, got a lot of great stuff from him. Nicest guy you ever met. Story is, he actually, he lived in Minnesota. Well, he still lives in Minnesota. But um, he worked at one of my uncles. I have an uncle that lives out in Minnesota. And was part of his, he owns a construction company and... He ended up working there for a couple years, so and then he started that was before he started out his career. So that's the story of Mike Kingery. So Andrew Jones, he's been kind of he's been in my repacks wax here. So this one's uh, Fleer, nineteen eighty, Dave Galtz. Man, 
I'm just babbling on. Almost done here. He's enough of my babbles. 1975 Twins, Jerry Terrell. That car is kind of beat up. That's too bad. Hojo. Very nice. 1983 clear of Howard Johnson. This is a rookie card. Not Mets. Not with the Mets. With the Tigers. That's where he belonged. Uh, started out his career as a Tiger, though. Then went to the Mets and had a good career there. I know the Mets rules guy will love him. Oh, I may have to get him signed. I love Howard Johnson. Ooh, nice Mark Grace card right there. Take that. Uh, 1982, Joe Strain of the Cubs. Oh, yeah, Angels leaders. Ends it off with that pack. A couple more packs. Two more packs. Ooh, that one feels thick. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's a good sign. It's a thick pack. I'll take a thick pack. And a filler card. That's fine. Jose, <laughs> Jose Lind. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to get him signed. I'm going to try my hardest. Even though he's in the Dominican Republic, we will get him signed. Luis Salazar, too. Well, get some uh, mini players. This was 81 tops of the Padres. So I might have to do some research, get these signed, give them away to you guys, because that's what I do. Road to the Hall, Cal Ripken. <clears throat> 82 Davy Lopes. Oops. And Raid Rookie there. Pete Incavilia with the Tigers. Inky there. I remember Inky. One run hitter. And another traded card. This one is 1974. Tom Murphy traded to the Milwaukee Brewers. And nice. Uh, <laughs> nice collar there, uh, Tom. <laughs> All bundled up there. Traded the Brewers. There we go. Yeah, that's funny. Hey, 1971. Of the Astros, Jack DiLario. This one's in decent shape. I mean... Yeah, some new ones are tough, you know, but that one's a bit, uh, who marked it? Another marked card, oh no, it's a high number too. Oh, you people, why do you mark your cards? Oh, you're infuriating me with the marked cards. <laughs> oh, Roger McDowell with a leaf, 86. Oh, last pack, hey, let's do this. We'll do this a little slowly because this video is going long. Yeah, like I said, you get a ton of cards with these 15 per. Like I said, not major hits. We got a bunch from the 50s. I like that. Mark Langston. Hey, there's Barry. Bob Barry. Yeah, Bobby Bonds. <laughs> Bobby Bonds of the Yankees. 1976. All star. Uh, unfortunately, that corner is bad. Uh, what do we got here? Albert Pujos. Oh. Uh, Oh, that'd be a good card to sign. Just kind of, maybe these were signed. This was just this base one. So don't know much about that one. Let's take a peek here. It's a Dunruss, 05 Dunruss. So don't know much about that one. Uh, 1980, Dave Rashik of the Rangers. Off-centered, but the corners are good. Don Sutton of the Angels. Britt Burns, Alan Davis. Chris Byer, another Chris Byer card. Yep, I'm going after his autograph because I got like three or four of his cards. Uh, we'll get these signed. So, uh, like I said, I, I think it's fun for me to get these players I get tons of signed because, hey, they need love. That is for sure. Uh, Lance Parrish there with the Angels. 82 tops. Lloyd Mosby. Is that it? The final one is Warren Newsom. Of the Chicago White Sox. So that is it of this. I will probably do a brief, brief, brief summary of the top cards. I'll go through these. Um, I, I know this video has gone long enough. But hey, I hope you had fun watching this. As I said, these are fun to rip. They're different. It, I enjoy doing it. Got some mics. Got some Uncle Ricks. Um, got super veterans. And, you know, got a whole bunch of Chris Meyer cards. And, uh... Others that, you know, we have fun with. So that's what it's all about. So I'll bring it back and do a quick, quick summary. Let's, we'll just do the top five. We'll be right back. All right. Here's the summary of, you know what it is. It's Repacks Wax. So 
I decided to do this again. This is my third box, or two and a half boxes. That one box is a half box. So here it is, all in its glory. Um, you know, we'll go through the highlights. Um, we'll go through the stuff from the 50s. There's a 58, Johnny Groth from the Detroit Tigers. Then Demeter from the Dodgers. And 59, Ray Herbert of the Kansas City Athletics. And another Dodgers of Don Vicente. And 1961, Mickey Vernon. And that awesome Cubs card of Dick Ellingsworth. And we got the 64 Colts 45 of Chris Zachary. So overall, I would say, you know, it was an average box. Here were my vintage cards. I go vintage all the way to 81 there. So um 71s were decent this time a couple 74s a lot of traded 74s as you know um you know so you know um, helps always helps to upgrade the album a little bit and there was a bunch of stuff from the um you know mid early 80s uh there's that mike schmidt <laughs> i always get mike schmidt <laughs> you know uh, nolan ryan i like that billy williams card it's not worth much but um, I really like that. Frank Viola, rookie card. Rafael Premier, rookie card. Oops. Ozzie Smith, Kirby Puckett, Alan Trammell, Don Manley there. So you know what you do this for? You do this for the fun. We have fun looking at the players, you know. I love getting my Pete Bukovic cards, and you know. I always seem to get them. I'm going to find, you know, like if I get like three or four of the same player like Pete Bukovic, I'm going to see if I can get it signed, you know. I, I think that's kind of fun to do. Uh, it's part of the fun. I mean, are you going to make a lot of money on this? No, I probably didn't make my money's worth on it. Um, You know, I'll, you know work on my 84 Dunruss sets. You know, there's no stars in there from 84, so that's too bad. But, you know, I, I'll work on them. You know, you got your PC favorites, you know, my buddy Mike Kingery, uh, Cousin Rick. And who can forget, you know, I cannot go without a stream with a, without a super veteran card. And, you know, <laughs> that's what makes this fun. You got to make this stuff fun. Otherwise, if you take it too seriously, it's not as fun, and that's what it's all about. So, you know, I'll probably buy another box of these if he keeps giving me coupons. They're fun to break. I might do something with this one of these days, um, upcoming when I get more subscribers. Uh, so I'm going to do a whole bunch of cool stuff. You just got to subscribe. Um, I want to give away some of this stuff to you guys. So all you have to do is, you know, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up. Uh, I got something coming up in the works here very soon. So look out for that. Always look out for my wild Wednesdays and retro Robbie saying, collect what you love.